Hello, I'm Alfonso García Caro, and uh, I'm going to talk to you about Fable today. We're going to see why Fable, where you'll want to use uh, uh, an F# -sharp compiler to JavaScript, which uh, because you can use the power of F# -sharp in the web, and uh, you, if uh, you probably know that F# -sharp is a very powerful language, and uh, there are many cool features that uh, you can use when uh, you are developing your web app applications. But you can also develop Node applications. You can uh, also develop a desktop application using uh, a Atom Electron and also even mobile applications with uh, Cordova or React Native. And uh, there is a, uh, one feature very important of Fable that uh, has seamless interaction with uh, JavaScript libraries and also with the JavaScript development tools, like Webpack, uh, Babel, or Minimify, uh, Uglify.js. And in this sort of video, we are going to show you how to install Fable, uh, the resources you have at your disposal, and also a couple of examples. So uh, Fable is uh, available through NPM, which is the package manager for Node. You need to install, have Node installed in your system. You only need to install for convenience. It's uh, usually more efficient to install it uh, globally on your path. NPM install global Fable compiler. So here I see it. Uh, it will take uh, some seconds. But uh, during this time, I'm going to show you what the web page you can have. You can just look for Fable compiler in Google, take you to the GitHub repo. We are uh, preparing also the web page that uh, uh, it will be available very soon. But here in the repo, you have the README, you have the documentation, you also have here how to use, and uh, you can uh, you can check here, for example, the documentation. You can uh, see what is compatible. There are some uh, uh, a few things that uh, you cannot compile directly to uh, JavaScript, but uh, as you can see, there are many many things that uh, you can actually compile and use it uh, in your web applications. So you also have uh, instructions here, how to compile to JS. You have here the compiler options, which uh, are quite a lot, of just, uh, as you can see. So you can tailor the compilation to your needs. You can uh, also check uh, how to interact with JavaScript code. So you can use dynamic programming. You can also use uh, uh, image directly JavaScript code. You can uh, also define foreign interfaces, and some of them are already defined for you. In the also in npm packages, so you can have also import uh, JavaScript code. You can have some special attributes for special cases, and finally, even uh, this a bit more advanced, but uh, you can uh, build your own plugins in case you need them. So let's uh, have a look at uh, an example how to compile an application with Fable. So we have uh, in the repo if you. Uh, if you download the repo, or even here, you have uh, some examples. So you can find uh, more details about in the docs. So you can also have the samples, and you can download them as a zip file. But uh, let's check. Uh, let's see if something cool. Let's see Mario jumping in your browser. So we have Mario here. The first thing you you need to do is uh, you need a um, package JSON file. This is uh, the one that uh, it's uh, uh, installing the NPM dependencies for you. So first, uh, if you want to be compatible with all the browsers, you have to install the polyfill for uh, ECMAScript 6 uh, features. You have to install also the Fable core library. And uh, this is optional, but uh, you can also install require.js to load um, MMD the, um, JavaScript models. So we are going to use Fable for there are many options. So Usually, it's uh, very convenient to put your options in a Fable config JSON file. You can see it here. So you have all the options here, and uh, you don't need to um, type all the options every time that you want to compile. So in this case, because we have the Fable config JSON file, it's uh, uh, just enough. Just type in Fable. And we have Fable here. The compilation has started. As you can see, it's installing the NPM dependencies first. And now we are going to run this. We also have a server here that we are going to use. And let's check the browser. And here we are. We have Mario jumping on our browser. So you can see here that uh, we have access to the f -sharp code thanks, thanks to source maps. So this is the, the code. You can also check it out in, in the repo. Everything is there for you. 
So this is the marriage sample. If you want to hack it, uh, please feel free to do it. And one cool thing is that the, you can debug directly the FSR code. So if I want to check when uh, Mary is jumping, so this uh, function is very functional functions. So with just with uh, three functions, we are controlling all the Mario movement. And then you can check all the values. So for example, here you have the local values, you have Mario, and everything you need to debug your applications. So let's see also uh, a bit more complicated game, which is the Pac-Man by Phil Treffel, a great contributor of the FSR community on Fable. And again, you just have to go to the repository, uh, to the directory of the sample, just type Fable, and everything will be starting uh, automatically for you. Just need to run a local server, and again, let's uh, make it uh, a bit bigger. Okay, so you can see it. And uh, I, I, it was hit too many times in in, the, in this game. You you get some uh, energy, but uh, yeah, it's, it seems I'm not very good at it. So I can take this one, and now I'm the boss. Cool. So let's uh, also. There is not only games in the in the web. There is uh, also uh, some business applications, and uh, uh, you can use any web framework uh, to develop them. And uh, there is one that is uh, very popular nowadays, which is called React. Probably you know about it. And uh, we have some uh, simple application here based on the React tutorial on the Facebook page. So you can also check the code. You have here the. React here, here the React sample, and uh, you have here some instructions. The README. You have uh, this is uh, a, a full application, so you have all the uh, application, uh, all the the whole the server and the client side here. So you have server, you have models. In this case, very very simple, but these are models that are shared on the server side and the client side. And uh, you have, uh, uh, if you know a bit of uh, of uh, React, you know that uh, everything is uh, um, uh, the, the templates are defined in the code. So as you can see, the the HTML is really really simple. And we are using also Webpack to bundle. And uh, you'll see that we are using Webpack also to uh, create a uh, development server, which are very cool features. We have here where the file where we are defining our React components. And uh, because this F -Star, we are not using GSX, but uh, F -Star is a very powerful language, and we can define the DSL ourselves. So, in this case, we have here React. You have uh, all the um, all the React uh, predefined methods, predefined uh, components, and uh, DOM components. You have uh, you have them from here, and you can define some attributes and even CSS. So let's uh, have a look. Also, it's already there. And uh, another cool feature about uh, the Fable config JSON file is that uh, you can define several targets. So for example, you can uh, have a, a different compilation process for debug or for production. And in this case, we are going to use debug because uh, here, uh, for example, we are also defining the, um, the debug uh, uh, conditional directive. And this one will allow us to, we can say, target either target debug or just uh, hyphen D for short. So you are going to see here that after table compilation, we are going to call Webpack for bundling. And also, we are going to create a Webpack development server and our own API server. So we have uh, already the server. It's going on. Let's check. It's in the same address. So you have this here. So it's just hi, everybody. And we have a markdown here we can use. So you have this here. But the cool thing about this 
is that thanks to the Webpack development server, and as I said, this uh, compatible Fable is compatible with the uh, uh, JS development tools. So we have uh, just, uh, you cannot see it, but uh, I just uh, press Control uh, Command in this case because uh, we are on a Mac, uh, Command plus S to, to save the file, and it reloaded automatically. Not even just reloaded because uh, the page didn't refresh, but uh, it just Webpack introduced, uh, it's called hot model replacement. So Webpack just put our code without refreshing the page. So you can, um, uh, you don't need to refresh and you don't lose your state. So let's try it again. Solid, let's try it this time with the green, a bit thicker, bother. And let's put something. Um, Let's put something here, like a author in front of everything. And I just press save. As you can see here, this uh, recompiling is putting everything and it's making all the changes. So this is uh, very, very convenient for web development. So again, this, uh, there are several examples. There, are, there will be more coming and some more tutorials. Okay, so uh, you can follow me on Twitter. This, uh, this is my username in Twitter, and also this is the GitHub page for a failed project. It's uh, maintained by the FSR community. And just make sure that uh, you also visit FSR TV too, for many more uh, very great FSR resources. So thanks for watching.